Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, Stevie Wonder Woman. I am said Stevie. So, uh, happy Sunday to you folks. Uh, I'm actually still in my jammies, kind of being a little bit of a uh, lazy bum. But, uh, yeah, I have some uh, packages that I had to get into, and I thought... Oh yeah, I should probably film this. So I've already uh, unpackaged it, which I unpackaged it with my Mallory Design Forest. And then I hit pause on what I was doing and figured I would come uh, set up and uh, do a video. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I actually haven't pocketed anything uh, yet today, but this is some of the stuff that I will be carrying. Uh, obviously my Forest SLR uh, Hank crafted in Michigan, uh, my uh, Cool Hand MTAP bolt action pen, my uh, black aluminum dapper ion, got my number 42 uh, Everything Knives Facebook uh, group coin, and then uh, the setup that I've been uh, going with my wallet as of yesterday, I got my Wineguard wearables uh, quill uh, tucked into there alongside my Lynch Northwest All Access Pass Pry Bar, my uh, little mini beard comb, and of course my Oral-B Floss Pick. So this is the items I will be carrying later today, but uh, back to this, uh, actually a uh, quick beverage check, uh, since I do need to wet my whistle, still drinking some San Pellegrino uh, Dark Morel Cherry, Morello Cherry in Pomegranate. I, uh, I'm really digging this stuff. So, uh, this came in a package from the uh, Black Widow Pass Around Group, uh, which I am part of. Shout out to Black Widow Pass Around Group that's ran by Knife Dude. Uh, does a phenomenal job with getting uh, a couple of us channels, uh, knives in, to check out from some different manufacturers. And uh, yeah, just get to take a look at some stuff. So, this previously was in the hands of the mighty and the awesome Big Red EDC. Shout out to Big Red EDC and um, uh, fellow Pacific Northwesterner. So uh, I don't know a lot about this knife. I do know that um, it's a small guy. So in anticipation, I uh, actually, I did look up a couple of quick things um, and I got a size comparison, but this is a best tech. So, uh, what I've noticed from Best Tech is I think that there's a couple of different tiers. I don't know what those tiers are from their budget friendly up to their higher end. Um, their higher end stuff seems to come in these boxes. So like I've gotten a Best Tech Todd Knife and Tool uh, Shodan uh, that came in a box like this. And then my Best Tech Tercel came in a similar box uh, like this. So this is the Nuke. The best tech nuke, and uh, let's get into it. So, this is just a uh, slide off the top uh, box that reveals a zippered pouch with the best tech logo on it. And uh, what do we got in here? So, we got uh, the standard, uh, just I'm sure, best tech paperwork. We do have a best tech wiping cloth and the knife. So, boom. There it is. There is the best tech nuke. So th as you can see, this is a tiny little guy and uh, this is a titanium uh, frame lock, uh, satin blade on it. Uh, I believe that these are G10 uh, inlays. I looked and there were a couple of different variants. I don't think that that's carbon fiber. Uh, they have a marbled carbon fiber uh, variant but I don't think that's it. Uh, they do have a really nice looking pivot on there uh, to start with. But yeah, this is just a little guy. Uh, so in comparison, uh, my other, another small Best Tech that I have is the Best Tech Lizard. These two are very uh, similar in size. And this is on their, uh, more of their budget line, but this is my, this was a, a Christmas present from Douche number three, Brandon Thrasher, and he had Stevie Wonder Woman, douche number two, put on it. So shout out to the Eliza Douche Crew, douche number one, Lefty EDC, 
Douche number two, Stevie Wonder Woman. Douche number three, Brandon Thrasher. Douche number four, Grady's Gear. Shout out to them. So, anyway, I digress. Uh, let me give you guys a little zoomy zoom, zoom action in here so we can get a little bit closer look at this. So, um, again, titanium. Uh, I think this has an overall, uh, uh, it's small. Um, I'm trying to look to see if I had my specs pulled up, but I don't. Just looking at it from the get-go, though, uh, this is a nice, uh, well-constructed knife. Uh, gray titanium handles. Uh, it does appear, I don't have my Torx bit out here. It looks like it's got uh, some T6 body screws. And then that's it. Just the, the two screws on this side. And then um, that's it. Or, you know, other than the pivot. So... I like minimal uh, screws on a knife, so I think that that's a nice touch. Let's just uh, go ahead and uh, deploy it. This is a uh, flipper or a uh, finger slot. I'm gonna go finger slot. Snappy, very snappy. Okay, so uh, we're looking at kind of a, I don't know, uh, I'm sure a modified either sheep I guess that would be almost more of a modified like Warncliffe, right? It's not a traditional Warncliffe, but they love to call things modified these days. Uh, this is a satin uh, finish on a, I believe, if we can see the steel marking there, M390 uh, blade. I think that's 2.75 inches, if I had to guess correctly. One, one, two... Yeah, so you get one, two, and about two and a half inch cutting edge on it is all. So again, just a tiny little, tiny little uh, guy. But um, let's see, ergos, you know, you got a forward finger choil here. So uh, for being a small knife, this uh, ergonomically, uh, it wants to bite my fingers. This wants to actually bite me, uh, the, the kind of the edge of the choil does kind of want to bite me there, so that's a little... Eh, I guess it's okay. Um, for being a small knife, ergos are there, so I would never use this knife back here, I don't think. I would want it in the choked up grip, but my hand naturally goes to that, and when I'm choked up, I do have a... as small as this is, I have a uh, full grip on it. Nice jimping. Uh, if you're gonna do jimping, do it like this. I think it's kind of like backwards swept, so you get some actual, uh, uh, it's not just there for looks, you can actually feel it. Like, I can't, you know, it's it's good jimping, I'd say, in uh, the right spot. Um, I could, I wouldn't mind it extending up the uh, spine all the way on that flat there, just because I have a bigger thumb, but I think that the jimping uh, is done well on that. Uh, you don't have any uh, crown spine there. It does feel pretty thin behind the edge. Um, so that is the full uh, show side there on the uh, clip side. I don't know what that maker's mark is. Is that just best tech? I don't know. I am apologize to the maker if I am missing you, but I didn't see any maker's name associated with this. So... Um, it does have a 3D milled titanium pocket clip on it that does not appear to be extremely deep carry, but I'm sure that uh, this would pocket good in a fifth pocket. Um, again, I think I said that this is M390. Let's check the action. Disengage on the uh, easy, easy to disengage on the uh, lock bar. Good access on the lock bar there. So let's see how, all right, it, it, the flipper tab instantly wants to hit my uh, thumb and then just a little shake and it drops. So yeah, this is a uh, smooth action on it for sure. Uh, detent with uh, finger flicking it seems to be dialed in pretty good. Uh, flipper tab also has uh, some good jimping on it. I like the way my finger lands on it and Okay, a little bit lighter on the flip. 
a decent feel. So I guess if I get back on it, back on here, I mean, it's not, can I? I can't shake it open, so it's not that light, but you know, best techs have been known to have a little bit of a lighter detent. Um, this is snappy, though, uh, for such a small blade. Um, I think I like it uh, better with finger flicking a uh, small blade like this. Um, it feels more natural when I uh, have this in hand to just flick it like that as opposed to having to change my grip to come back down on it and then re-grip. So to me, uh, that's where finger flicking uh, comes into play. I don't have to adjust my grip to go back. Once I have the, hand, the knife in hand, I finger flick and I'm there. So to everyone that says finger flicking you know, is bleh, whatever you say, uh, that's my reason for that. Is it a huge deal? No. To go like that and then go into your task? Of course not. That's not a big deal. But I'd say on a knife like this, simply finger flicking and then going into whatever I need to do is good. So... Uh, first impressions on this knife, uh, it's not too shabby, but when I checked uh, this knife out, I found out that it's $300, and so with everything that's out there in the $300 price point, um, there's a lot. You can get an EMP, uh, so it's $297 um, on uh, whatever, I think it might have been Blade HQ that I checked. Um, for $300, uh, you know, again, you're getting a lot. You're getting a titanium uh, frame lock and M390, so the value is there, right? There's plenty of knives out there uh, with lesser um, in that price range. So if you are into Best Tech, I'd say that this is a great Best Tech offering. Um, if you're looking for a nicer, higher-end, fifth-pocket carry, I think that this could scratch that itch. Um, ergos are there, man. Ergos are there. Uh, the edge on it feels good. Again, this has been passed around, so I don't know what kind of tasks that this has been put through to cut. I don't have any paper, but I do have a... You know, it wants to slice through this really well, so... That's good. I'd say uh, this edge is still good on it, but it's M390, so you know. Uh, M390. Did that just cut out briefly there? I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of satin blades, though, for this reason, just with the fingerprints and whatnot. It's not that big of a deal, but you do see some decent uh, vertical grind lines in here. I believe this is a flat grind. Edges are every, you know, this is a well-constructed knife. I would say that Best Tech put their best uh, effort forward on this. This is a great knife. Is it for me? I don't know. You know, it's kind of got Ace Rivish vibes to it. You know, it's that smaller, um, it's definitely smaller than the uh, Vox F5, I, at 0.5, I believe. Um... I have enough knives in this uh, in this size that I don't know that this is something that I would go for, but I could recommend it. That's for sure. I don't know that it's for me, but I would say that the quality is there. I don't see, you know, I'd have to spend long term with it to know if it uh, holds up. But we got no blade play in it. Uh, it's centered. Um, you got a nice. Uh, oh, I kind of like that design on the uh, backspacer there. I didn't notice that. That's nice. You know, titanium everything. Uh, you got. Um, you know, uh, maybe I'd go for the carbon fiber more than G10. Um, but you know, I think aesthetically it looks good. I like. Uh, I like a lot of Best Tech's design language. I think it, uh, it's 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 cool. It's funky. I wish I knew who that maker was. So yeah, the best tech nuke. That's what I got for you guys today. We'll see if I end up spending any more time with this. Um, again, I got a lot in right now, so I don't know that I have enough interest in this knife to really want to uh, keep it and send it along. Or uh, keep it or send it along, so I'll give it a couple days and think about it. Uh, maybe spend some time with it tomorrow. 
But I would say, again, um, if I didn't handle this knife, uh, I wouldn't obviously be able to uh, recommend it if someone asked me about it. If someone were to come up to me and say, hey, Stevie, what do you think of the best tech nuke? I'd say, if this is the style of knife that you are looking for, something smaller with higher end premium materials, uh, I could absolutely recommend this. I don't see anything. There's nothing about this knife that leads me to believe that it's a not a high quality knife. So, um, yeah. So take that for what it's worth. That's it, folks. That is the best tech nuke. Again, thank you uh, to Knife Dude um, for uh, getting this uh, into my hands in the Black Widow Pass Around group. Um, shout out to uh, uh, everyone else. Um, shout out to Forrest Hanks, Forrest, Forrest Hanks, Dylan Mallory Forrest. Shout out to Best Tech. Shout out to Sam Pellegrino. Shout out to you guys. Appreciate everything. That's all I got for you. And until the next time. Please subscribe and click notification bell. Deuces.